What's good y'all, it's Logan. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make crazy melodies with just one shots. Me and Evan with the dope beat just dropped our new creative concept multi kit. We got some insane sounds in there, something to automatically just level up your melodies using the one shots and portal presets that are included in the kit. So here I have an example melody. I have some sounds that I thought didn't really fit well together. This is what that sounds like. So I don't like these sounds, they sound kind of old, not very high quality, they just don't mix well together. So if I replace them with sounds from the creative concept kit, this is what it'll sound like. So overall it just sounds a lot better, these sounds have a lot more depth, they have a lot more effects on them, but they're also usable, which I think is really nice to get a unique sound in all of your melodies. The only thing I really changed here is I just reversed the key, that's really it. Everything you can do with this kit, you really don't even need effects. I have EQ on two of these, and that's it. Now I'm going to get some stuff from the portal bank. So here I have portal open, I'm in the creative concept portal bank, we have 50 presets, 25 by me, 25 by Evan. I'll just preview some of the presets that we got. And something I love to do with portal presets is when I add them to a pattern, I'll export them out and chop them up. So here I have a really nice bass pattern. I can really add anything I want to it. I'll just add the three patterns that I have here. And that's really simple. You can consolidate this, make it unique, and then change the pitch of it. I think that bell sounds nicer. doesn't take that much to make something that sounds good. Right, now I'm going to open a new FLP and make something from scratch and do a deeper dive into what the kit actually offers. First thing I'm going to do is I usually like to start with a key or a bell. Gonna add some reverb onto this sound. Next, usually what I like to do is I like to add a little lead or top line. So I'll get a bell or a lead for this. I'm gonna try a lead here. I'm gonna add some reverb and then after that, I'm gonna go into portal and find a preset that I think sounds nice on this. I like that one. Now I'm gonna split these. Next to fill out some space, I'm just gonna get a bass I like. Next I'm going to add this bend string, this is one of my favorites from the kit. It's just a normal string, but it has a bend down at the end. It has a really spooky feel to it. I'm going to add a pad for some more depth. I 
the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a melodic accent. Okay, so I have the full melody done and this is what it sounds like. That was all done using Creative Concepts. Okay, so I have the loop open in a new FLP here, and I'm not going to add drums to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it into a new melody. This switches keys. This starts in E minor and then goes to D. I'm going to keep it in D and just take this first part. Probably take out the string as well, and then take out the bass, and then up the tempo, change the pitch. I'm going to add some portal on it from the Creative Concept Kit. Gonna add another layer of portal. Now I have this. So I'm just gonna take this two bar part. Gonna add some half time. That's all. I'm gonna start a brand new melody around this starter I just made. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab a synth bass. This nebula one. So I'll take this, pitch it up or down, and stretch it. The same thing that we did for the last one. Next I'm going to add a bell. That distortion is real nice. I'll add a pad next. Next, I'm gonna finish this off by adding a melodic accent. I want to get just like the shimmer, the bells, so I want to cut everything else that's lower than that off. Yeah, like just that part. Some reverb as well. And on my master, I like to add a Ruby compressor. And then I also have a sound shifter pitch stereo where you can just easily change the pitch. All right, so all that's done, here's the full melody. I think this one turned out really nice. This is my favorite out of all the ones I did. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all learned something new. All the links for the Creative Concept Kit will be in the description. Y'all need to go cop that. It's super nice. This has been the only kit I've been using for like the past three, four weeks. I genuinely use it in a lot of my stuff. So I hope that y'all do as well. And that's about it for me. I'll see y'all on the next one.